They're crying over a game. How does she become a, an accountant? I majored in accounting. Well, I can account for shit. What? Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So there's nothing I like more than watching strangers argue about money, and uh, especially who gets the money? Because that's when all the uh, interesting stuff comes out. So Jubilee just posted this video where seven strangers have to decide who gets the money. It, it gets it gets bad. It, it gets pretty bad. So with that said, let's make sure to do our part to subscribe. If you haven't done that already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. And with that said, let's begin. Some of us have situations in which we need to help people, and I'm saying it's 100% serious. This is a competition. And don't ever cry. Well, we know who we're voting for, so. They're crying. They're crying over a game where they don't even win the money, right? Don't they have to give it to somebody else? They're crying over somebody else not getting the money? Welcome to Stacks, the show where every vote counts. Today, seven strangers must decide who gets to keep $1,000. The players will have four rounds of discussion. After each round, there will be blind voting. One gold brick equals one vote. At the end of the game, the person with the tallest stack wins the prize. This is Stacks. What's going on? Wait, y'all smell that? What? That's the smell of money you're about to make. Oh, hell yeah. I like him. He's got the jokes. Round one, each player will get one gold brick. They'll have six minutes to discuss who they think should take the cash prize. Let's get into discussing. Ready? Go. I'm not gonna lie to you, if I win the money, I am gonna buy some weed. Cause those taxes, oh, yeah. cause LA, it's stressful. Wait, what? This guy's gonna bu buy weed? Why, why don't we just eliminate him at this point? Or just be like, no, okay, it's, you know, not that stressful. I grew up in Los Angeles, it's not that bad. But, I mean, could people just vote for themselves? Like, hey guys, I want the money, I'm gonna just lay a brick on my own name. I went to college for screenwriting. You'd be supporting my art, uh, black queer art. I was like, mm, maybe they'll support, you know, a struggling artist. It's not that big of a, like, supporting an artist, uh, you know, for your screen making. I mean, it's not like a sob story because it's not a necessity. It's not like you need that to, to survive. I would say like food, shelter, uh, car to get to work, you know, the, the Lamborghini payments, like stuff like that, like those are essential. I currently share a room with my Lola, which is Tagalog for grandma. Mm. And I love her to death, but she also has a lot of hoarding tendencies. Yeah. So I'm really, really trying to move out because it's been taking a really bad toll on my mental health. Okay, I, I can more so get on the line of that. Okay, that, that, see, that's, uh, that's legitimate. But then she can also, uh, you know, get a job, right? I am from Venezuela. We moved here escaping from the government and my grandma is still there. And every time she has issues, she doesn't have what to eat or her house has fallen down because of rain, she calls me and she's you know, like, she needs that money. Well, damn, okay. Uh, All right, she's, she's winning so far. She's in the lead. I definitely need to pay back Capital One. They want their money for their credit card. <laughs> Chase wants their money. Capital One wants their money. Like, I gotta give it to them, so. I'm in a lot of debt which is crazy for like an accounting major. I majored in accounting, but I can't account for shit. How do they let these people, how does she become a, an accountant uh, who can't account, <laughs> right? Who can't be accountable for her own actions not to get in debt, how? It's like a firefighter who's afraid of fire or a lifeguard who's be like, no, I can't swim. What? I work from home, but they're making me go back in the office in one week. All I have is a bicycle, and my work is like 10 miles, so that's gonna be a lot of hustling if I don't get a car. Yeah, she doesn't even have the means to, to have to spend money on gas and whatnot. I'd say Edamar probably is my favorite so far. Each player will vote for who they think should win the prize, but there's a catch. If all seven players vote for themselves, the game is over and no one wins. Oh, come on. He should be, you should automatically be eliminated if you vote for yourself. Like, th that should be the twist. My legs hurt. I need a car. You're not buying a car for $1,000. Not in this market. Like, what does she expect to get for 1000 Like, maybe the down payment on a maybe two, $3,000 car max. But, gosh, I mean, uh, you shouldn't be voting for yourself. I don't think everyone here is stupid enough to vote for themselves. He does seem like the type who vote for himself, though. Please open your eyes in three, two, one. 
open. Oh, so those two I better look at this, be like, I gotta up my story. I gotta make it way more severe than I made it sound first. No one voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you voted for yourself. Absolutely. See, that would automatically turn me off. Like, if someone votes for themselves, I'm automatically just, I'm not voting for them after that. In round two, only players who currently have stacks will receive two more gold bricks for voting. But all players can participate in the discussion. What would you use the money for, like, fantasy-wise? Not bills, not cars, not gas, none of that. Like, what would you buy for fun? I don't know, a better camera. I'm trying to get a YouTube started, but that's just... <laughs> Wait, you're trying to get YouTube started, so you need a thousand dollars to start on YouTube? No, you don't. If you have a phone camera, you're, you're good enough to do YouTube videos. Trust me, that's how I got started. So automatically for him, he says he needs that, I'd be like, nope. I'm not gonna give him anything. You don't, you don't need it. Start with what you have, scale it up, reinvest the money, that's how you do well on YouTube. I swear I had like the worst luck. And this morning I was in Mammoth because I had like really bad depression so my roommate told me to like get out of the house, sorry. Oh, see, I told you, she's gonna up it. She's, she's like, I, I'm not doing as well so I need to cry. It's usually the person that cries gets the sympathy votes. And I hit a patch of ice and I hit a car. And so now on top of not having a car, I had to pay to fix hers and the person that I hit. I don't ever cry. I don't ever cry except when I need a thousand dollars. My Lola right now, she's kind of like soiling the bed and I share the bed with her. It's just really hard because I just want like a nice place to like stay and like have that concentration for school and everything. Well, what is the grandma gonna do if she moves out though? I mean, let, let's ask the, the serious question here. Uh, is she helping her grandmother th with this? Because it sounds like she is. It sounds like in a way she's almost like the caretaker. What would happen if she moves out and the grandma's on her own? Not to say that is entirely her responsibility. I'm just curious. What do you want to do for fun? What do you want to spend it on? Um, I would probably do a fun vacation with my boyfriend. What would you do? Honestly, I was gonna go shopping. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was cool. gonna go shopping. Says the person in debt would go shopping. That's not, that's not a surprise at all. For this round, players can use their two gold bricks to vote for any player, even those without a stack. I bet Zach's gonna vote for himself. See, I'm a nice person. Oh, he just did that because now everyone's not gonna like him now that they see how he's voting. Ah, oh, see, the tears worked. The tears always work. I know how hard it is to take care of someone you love that's not so well, so I wish the best for her. I gave one to someone else, so it didn't look suspicious because it did. People were, were sussing who gave one to themselves. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I mean, let's be real. It's a, the, the struggling YouTuber is like, nobody's voting for him. For round three, you're gonna be casting your vote on who you think should lose their entire stack. Three minutes for this, set, go. Well, my votes were strategic. I voted for YouTube back in the game. Oh, so, wow. not trying to be like Mother Teresa here. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, the three of us, we're a team now, forever. Don't let that blind you. Um, <laughs> I will say too, three of you have four bricks each. Clearly, not all of you are gonna win. So I think realistically, one of those gotta go. Interesting. I'm just, I'm just being honest here. Not all yeah, three of you can win. Yeah, probably. That, that's good. I could see that because it, it's gotta be one of the three. So I, I think from a strategy standpoint, just pick one of those three. They're gonna win. We need to help people, and I'm saying it's 100% serious. No, I know. 100%. Percent. Research course. Venezuela, you will see what the f is going on there. But not all three like, of you can win. Or... Yeah, of course, but I'm just saying that like, if we are in this position right now, it's for a reason, and I feel like, okay, you know what, then one of you have to go, just because maybe you are lower, that's selfish. Imagine she's faking the accent, the whole thing is just like not even true. She's the one with the shopping addiction, and she's like, that new Gucci belt came out, uh, the Nelk NFT, I need that, they have a new drop coming out, <laughs> it's like a fake act, no, I'm kidding. I think she deserves to win. Players who currently have stacks will vote for who they think should lose their entire stack. How much time do I have? Yeah, but Zach only loses one brick, and we knew he wasn't gonna win anyway, so I kinda liked his strategy of pick out one of the other three. Just let fate take this one, and by fate, I mean eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I'm so 
sorry. No, come on. You're really eeny, meeny, miny, moe, or grandmother who's having her house destroyed? That, no, come on. Zach lost his stack, but now has the opportunity to redistribute his brick. He can give his brick to anyone who he thinks is deserving. That's the right move. What did I say from the very beginning? I'm like, yep, yeah, that's it. So I actually was in the process of buying a car this past week. I could only buy like a car with like 100,000 miles on it. And I went to a mechanic to look at it and they were like, this car's really messed up, don't buy it. So I spent like $300, so I'm like even more in debt than I was before. With $300 to have the mechanic look, well I guess, it purchase inspection, but that seems like a lot of money on a car with a, you know, I don't know how much the car is, but it seems a lot. I don't know. I've always found like a local mechanic who'd take a quick look at it and, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. You know, like Gladiator where they're like, like that and the, the guy's like, okay, thumbs up. It's a good car. It seems like a lot. It seems like a lot to waste on that. I will help my grandma, but I'm also in a lot of debt. So this will like help me out. This will give me some peace of mind to not have to like work my ass off so hard to like help myself and also her over there, you know? Oh, what's that? I feel like she's lost it there because now she's like, I'm gonna help myself. Everyone is voting for her because she wasn't doing it for herself. And now that she says, oh, maybe I can do some of that for myself, I think people are going to uh, work against that. For the final voting rule, players can move one brick from any stack to another. Only players who currently have stacks are allowed to vote. None of those uh, bottom ones are gonna win. She takes one from Gloria or um, the other one and moves it to hers. And she's basically locked herself in. She basically just cost herself the game there. If one person is selfish, they're gonna win it. Ooh, see, look at that. Oh man, she's taking it for herself. I feel bad about that, but you know what? That's the game. Yeah, she, she did the same thing. Come on, Kyle, you're not gonna win. That's so stupid. Come on, Kyle, Kyle doesn't even have a chance. If you can't make YouTube videos off your phone or a webcam, what are you doing? Sudden death. <laughs> oh, look at that. See, she's out now because she, she didn't give the brick to herself like she should have. She could have been tied. She literally could have been tied had she done that. So, uh, that sucks. Since I was 17, I've been financially independent. I've been working for everything that I have and just this money would really, really help out with moving out and being able to like have my own independency and having, being able to find the balance that I really, really need in my life. Um, like anytime anyone has any problem, I'll like stop what I'm doing to go give them money, give them some time, anything. And during the pandemic, no one did that for me. What? Did she not get a stimulus check? The, I think the government did that for her. Well, I'm, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Players who currently have stacks will move a brick from their stack to the player they think should win. Get it, girl. In the tiebreaker between Gloria and Fipsa, the results are in. If you will open your eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> Oh yeah, because she gave the brick to herself. I mean, it's like, if the other one did that, she probably would've won. I feel honestly just like really, really, really relieved. I'm just really appreciative of the opportunity and I just like don't wanna f it up. <laughs> oh man, good episode. It always gets me upset when I see these episodes because I'm like, oh man, the person I wanted to win didn't win. So anyway guys, subscribe, add me on Instagram. If you wanna see what I'm up to after this, wallowing in my sorrows. Thank you so much and until next time.